in this video we'll be solving a numerical related to the normal distribution so the problem statement says that uh, the mean weight of 500 students during a medical checkup was found to be 50 kgs and the standard deviation weight was found to be 6 kgs assuming that the weights are normally distributed we have to uh, find the number of students having more than 60 weight of more than 60 kgs between 50 40 and 50 kgs so first let's write the formula for a normal distribution that is 1 by phi of z is equal to 1 by under root 2 pi 0 to z limits are from 0 to z e to the power minus z square by 2 into dz so here we have from the given data here we have mean is equal to 50 standard deviation is equal to 6 so the st uh, standard normal variate formula would be z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so that is z is equal to x minus mu value is 50 and sigma value is 6. So our first question says more than 60 kgs. So we have to find x greater than 60, p of x greater than 60. Okay. So here let's take at x is equal to 60, the z value would become 60 minus 50 by 6. That is 10 by 6. That is 1.667. So P of x greater than 60 can be written as P of x greater than 0 minus P of 0 to 1.6667. So understanding this, let's take a number line 0 here minus infinity here plus infinity. So we have to find out from 1.6667 to the infinity. So you should minus it with 0 like this part minus this part would give you the answer right. So that's how we proceed. So here we get 0 0.5 minus phi of 1.6667. So now you have two options either you can look at the normal uh, probability table or you can use calculator. So I will refer to the normal probability table and 1.6. 1.667 so 1.6 is here and 1. Point, again 6 is here so it will be point so it will be point of 4.525 yes so it will be point 0.4525 so 0 0.5 minus point 0.4525 answer would be point 0 0.0475 so this is for one student for 500 students it would be 0 0.0475 into 500 that is 24 so 24 yes the next sub question says between 40 to 50 so we can write p as x ranges from 40 to 50 so first let's take when x is equal to 40 z value changes to be 40 minus 50 by 6 that is minus 10 by 6 that is minus 1.667 now when x is equal to 50 z value becomes 50 minus 50 by 6 that is 0 so here we have p of 40 x 50 can be written as P of minus 1.6667 x and 0 here. So it can be rewritten as in the terms of z 0 z 1.667 because they are because uh, phi of minus 1.6667 and phi of 1.667 both are same because of the symmetric nature. So here it will be phi of 1.667 so solving finding phi of 1.667 we get it as 0 0.4525 so for 500 students it would be 0.4525 into 500 that would give 226 so i hope uh, this question was clear if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you